back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool game of uh, rolly cars on scratch. Now, in this game, you have a car that's rotating in a tunnel trying to avoid these obstacles. If you pass an obstacle, your score goes up by one. And if you hit an obstacle, everything stops. It says game over and everything stops. The cool ideas about this game, number one, the sensation it gives you that you're going through the tunnel. Number two, the sensation it gives you that you're rotating in the tunnel. And number three, how we create multiple uh, clones of the obstacle at once. So let's get started. Click the create button and the first thing we're going to do is get the car sprite. Now I'm going to upload my car sprite. So let's get rid of that. And I'm going to use this guy. And um, there it is. And first of all, Let's position it in X0, Y0, so 0, 0, the center of the screen. And then it's a big car, so let's go to the costumes, select it, and we'll just make it smaller. That should be good. And then center it here. Next, what we want to do is make the car move around the screen like it's in a tunnel. So there are a lot of ways to do that, but I'm going to show you a trick that's very simple to make, to do. So let's see if we change the direction it turns around the center of the sprite. What if we position this lower? If we position it lower, then if we turn it, it turns around the center of the sprite, which is above the car. So that gives you a sensa <laughs> the sensation that it's going in a tunnel. What if we position it the lowest possible, like right here? Then, if you turn it, it gives you that sensation that it's going in a big tunnel, like the whole screen. So that's good. Next, let's code it and make it turn with the arrows. So let's go to the code, and when green flag clicked, we'll do a forever if key right arrow pressed. Then we will turn this way 5 degrees. Let's copy it, change it to left arrow, and turn the other way, still 5 degrees. Alright, now let's test it, and we can see that, I, right now I'm pressing the left arrow, and right now I'm pressing the right arrow. So you can see that it works. Next, we will want to make the tunnel sprite, so I'm just going to paint a sprite, and basically the tunnel is going to be made out of multiple sprites. So let's name this, and we'll make it tunnel block. So we'll want to make a circle basically with the no fill, so the fill is transparent, and then the maximum outline. So I think it's 100. So hold on shift to make a perfect, oh, oops, perfect circle. Uh, and let's center it. You can see that here on the screen, it's not really centered. So that's because the X is and the Y are not zero. Let's make them zero and let's go to the code and what we want them to do is when green flag clicked we'll want them to set their size to one percent so one and then a repeat repeat let's try a hundred times repeat 100 times change size by let's try one okay now let's test it and we can see that that is good. Next, we see that at the beginning, it's going too fast and then it gets slower. In real life, it's the opposite. It goes uh, slow and then fast as it gets closer. So for that, I'm just going to make a variable. I'll name it tunnel block speed for the spread only and set tunnel block speed to let's do one and then in the repeat we'll change tunnel block speed by one and then we'll change size by tunnel block speed okay let's test it you can see that that is going too fast so let's try to change it by 0.5 0.1 that's better 
but I would like the the outline here to be thicker. So for that, let's go to the costumes of the tunnel block, and we'll just make another circle. Hold on, shift again inside of this one. If it's not good, then you can at the beginning, then you can just use this to make it good. Then center it. There you go. That's thick and that's good. Next, we'll want to make clumps. So let's get rid of this code here. Well, not get rid of it, but let's move it out of the way. So I'm going to click forever, create clone of myself, and then we'll wait. Let's say 0 0.1 seconds. Then when I start as a clone, do this stuff. Now the original one, we'll hide. So, oh, whoops. And then show the clone. Do not forget to put a delete this clone block right here. Next, let's see how the code works. So you can see that it's all black. So it doesn't give you the sensation that you're going through a tunnel. So to give it a sensation you're going to a tunnel, the different blocks, the circles, well, the blocks, yeah, are going to need different colors. So the first one is going to have, like, for example, white. We'll see, though. So it'll have, like, a white. Then the second one will have, like, a black. And then the third one will have, like, a white, like, the same one as the first one. And so on. So for this, we'll make a variable. We'll call it tunnel block uh, color. For all sprites, because it doesn't make sense to do for the sprite only, because like we won't modify and we won't have any other value in any other sprite. All right, okay. And basically, this val this uh sorry variable is only gonna have two values, sometimes one, sometimes zero. It's gonna depend. So at the beginning, it's gonna have a set it to zero, and then. We will, here before the create clone, we will do a, if the tunnel block color variable is equal to zero, zero, then we will change the, actually we'll set the effect. So I'm going to use the brightness effect, two and then 70. So that means if it's zero, it does that. And that's why I got an if else, because if it's not zero, if it's one, then we'll set it to 20, the brightness effect to 20. And then we'll just do a set here, set doo -doo -doo -doo, tunnel block color to not zero, but one. Sorry. One minus tunnel block color. There is because if the tunnel block color is zero, then it's one minus zero, and then that's what well, one at the beginning of zero because tunnel block. I said it's going to be zero. It turns into one. If tunnel block color is one, then it's one minus one equals zero. So it's the opposite. That's good. Let's test it, and we can see that it's different colors. So that's good. Next, we want to get rid of this problem, how there are gaps here when the circle is small. That's because here we change tunnel block speed by always 0 0.1. So we don't want to change by the same thing always. We want to change it by a smaller value when it's small and a bigger value when it's bigger, so when it gets closer. So for that, a perfect thing for us to use is just change it by tunnel block speed. But that is too fast. So we only need a part of this, like a piece. So we'll just divide it. Tunnel block speed, we'll divide it by 10. There's still some gaps. Let's try 20. There are still gaps when the circle is small because it starts off with too big of a value here. So let's try to make it 0 point, maybe 0 0.1. And that is perfect. Remember that these two numbers right here and right here might be different depending on how powerful your device that you're using is. All right, next, let's go to the backdrops and just solve this corner problem. The corners are empty. So let's just go to the backdrops and fill this with black so it's not empty. Then let's go to the car and we're just gonna hit the go to front layer because you can't really see the car right now, it's in the back. There is the car. 
All right, next, we want to make the obstacle. So for that, we're just going to upload a sprite. And here, where's the one? Here's the one I want to use. There it is. And then we're just going to copy the code from the tunnel block. Because it's basically the same exact code, we just have got to change a couple of things. So first of all, we don't need the color thing. So let's get rid of that. And we want a clone to create every five seconds. Also, let's make it go to zero, zero. And it's way too big. Let's go to the costumes, select it, and just make it smaller. Now, we also want it to be like the car. So we'll position it here because sometimes we we'll want it on the top, sometimes on the bottom. All right. So let's test it. And it's supposed to appear every five seconds. Oh, yeah. And then I forgot. Hide the original. All right. So that's good. Next, we will want to make the obstacle move as fast as the tunnel block. Right now, it doesn't. So we'll play around with these two numbers to make it good. Let's try to make the 0 0.3 maybe just a bit higher. And let's wait for the next obstacle. And that is actually good. That is perfect. So next we'll want to let the obstacle go on in anywhere in the tunnel. Right now it's only going here on the bottom. So for that, we're just going to, before I created the clone, we're going to turn this way, a pick random, 0 to 360 degrees. Okay. Now let's test it. And... Uh, when t see, it's not only on the bottom ones over there. See the next one, just to make sure. All right, yeah, see that one's on that side. All right, so that's good. Next, we will want to make multiple obstacles appear at once. So we'll just do a repeat, let's say, five times. We'll create a clone of myself. Okay, so let's test it. And we can see that it creates five clones, but they're not exactly at the same exact time. They're a bit behind. So every single one is a bit behind the other, the last one. So that's not good. So to, wait, to fix this, here, when I start as a clone, we're going to wait until something. And that's something, so we're going to make a variable. We'll call it obstacles ready for all sprites. Uh, because we don't want uh, to have a different value for a different sprite. And obstacles ready. So wait until obstacles ready equals ready. And it will equal ready over here. So it's going to, here before the repeat, is going to equal not ready. And then after the repeat, it will be ready. It will equal ready. All right, let's test it. And first of all, I see that they appear before the tunnel actually appears. So I'll just go ahead and move this here so that it waits five seconds. And then after five seconds, the tunnel should already be here. So now let's test it. And there you go. There they are. And they're all at one time. Let's see another one. Yeah, there you go. They're all at one time. Next, we'll want to make a random number of uh, clones, of obstacles to appear. So repeat. Or I'll just do a pick random. One to seven. Alrighty. Next, we'll go to the car. And if the car is touching one of the obstacles, so if touching obstacle... So traffic obstacle, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. If touching it, then we will say game over, stop all. Well, it won't say stop all, we'll do stop all. And next let's do a score variable. So first let's hide all the other variables. We'll hide the other one as well. And we'll create a score variable for all sprites and at the beginning we'll set score to zero and every time it passes a set of the obstacles it will change the score by one 
So we'll just go ahead and put that right there. All right, and this weight, let's make it a uh, pick random. From 1 to 10. No, actually, let's do 1 to 7, like we did for the repeat. All right, next, let's name this project. I'm going to name it Rolly Cars. And save it. And let's make sure that the car, oh, at the beginning, gets positioned down here. So at the beginning, we will just uh, point in direction 90. Right? And let's test it. And here's the car. I can move around the tunnel. And here are the obstacles. If I pass by them, the score goes up by 1. If I hit 1, it says game over. And then it stops all. That's good. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you next time for another game you can make on Scratch.